The story begins with Doomsday, beating at the metal that he is imprisoned within. He breaks through the metal, and forces his way up through the earth. A young boy named Keith has been told by the War Worlders that they have taken his mother hostage. He has a plan to save her, and buy some glow-in-the-dark spray paint. Lois Lane finds a note left for Superman, telling him that there is trouble in the basement of a power plant. She leaves a message on Clark's computer and goes to investigate. When Clark is about to read the message, there is a city-wide blackout so he is unable to see the message. Lois is captured by the War Wilders, and a homeless man named Charlie convinces them to let him kill Lois. Keith realizes that the War Wilders lied about his mother, so he uses the spray paint to make a signal for Superman, which Superman eventually spots. Keith tells him about the journalist that has been captured. Superman stops the War Wilders, and beats them into telling him where Lois is. When he does find Lois, she stops him from hurting Charlie, and explains that he was the one that left the note. While Superman was dealing with the War Worlders, Doomsday has been destroying anything that gets in his way. Even though he has one hand tied behind his back due to his containment suit, he is still incredibly powerful and destructive. The Justice League helps to put out the fires that Doomsday has caused with his destruction. They follow his path of destruction and search for him. Meanwhile, Superman is being interviewed on a television station. Before the Justice League can find Doomsday, he gets wind of them and throws a tree at their craft, ripping it apart, and causing the Justice League to fall to the ground. Using teamwork, the Justice Leaguers that are able to fly, catch the others that can't fly, and they all land safely. Doomsday continues destroying anything that gets in his way, and causes a severe car crash. Guy Gardner attacks Doomsday, but gets pummeled, and doesn't stand a chance. Bloodwind tries next, and suffers the same fate, only he is almost blown up from an explosion caused by Doomsday. When Beetle tries to help Bloodwind, Doomsday grabs him, and beats him within an inch of his life. Superman's interview is cut short, when he is told about the fight between the Justice League and Doomsday. Booster Gold attempts to take on Doomsday but also loses. He is saved by his force field when Doomsday punches him, and sends him flying through the air. He is caught by Superman, and starts ranting about how strong Doomsday is. The fight with Doomsday bleeds into a suburban area. A small family's house, gets destroyed while Superman and the Justice League continue fighting against Doomsday. They all use their powers against Doomsday, but it still isn't enough. All it does, is free his tied up arm, making him even more deadly. As everybody is beaten, with the exception of Superman, Doomsday leaves the scene, and Superman follows him, as the young lad screams for Superman's help. Superman thinks fast and pummels Doomsday to the ground. He then hastily flies back and saves the small family. Doomsday breaks out of the ground, and continues his path of destruction. Superman continues to fight Doomsday, causing a large amount of destruction in the process. Maxima joins the fight, which does help slightly, but also causes more damage. She recklessly causes an explosion, that injures both her and Superman. When Guardian arrives to help them, Superman decides to take on Doomsday alone. The battle rages on, and Doomsday finds himself in a Lexmart. There is a wrestling match advertisement on one of the televisions, telling viewers to go to Metropolis to watch the fight. Doomsday pays attention to this, and changes his direction and heads for Metropolis. Guardian catches up to Superman and Doomsday, but is barely any help to Superman, as the Cadmus project called Habitat is destroyed. They are both beaten again, allowing Doomsday to get ahead of Superman, and reach Metropolis. He begins to carelessly murder people, and destroy everything around him. Superman attempts to get Doomsday out of Metropolis but it fails. When a factory explodes, Supergirl attempts to help Superman, but it makes no difference. A group of scientists have an experimental weapon on a rooftop, and fire it at Doomsday, which also doesn't work. 
Cadmus attacks Doomsday and tries to help Superman. When Lois and Jimmy's helicopter gets damaged, Superman saves them and quickly gets back to the fight. When Superman realizes he can hurt Doomsday by hitting his protruding bones, he gives his all, and uses every ounce of his strength. They both pummel each other, and Superman is finally victorious in beating Doomsday, but he has taken too much of a beating, and dies in Lois Lane's arms. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and press the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.